consider more shock. Let's consider more shock. Definition. Motion is defined as the change in the position of an object or a body with respect to time. That's all. Motion can be defined as the change in the position of an object or a body with respect to time. Full stop. Let me now use your own definition. It can simply be defined as movement. That's the layman's definition. It can simply be defined as the movement of a body. That's it. Alright? That's motion. I'm at this point, I'm at this point. So here's my position here. Yeah? We take it about let's say three seconds, right? A second, the next second, the third second. I'm here. What have I done? I've just undergone motion. What have I done in essence? By description, I've changed my position. Now, mind you, I'm not flash. It didn't happen in one second. It took some time, right? So the change in the position of a body or an object with respect to time, what is called motion. You don't have to cram it. Understand concept? Don't cram. Understand concept? All right. Um, let's look at equations of motion. Look at equations. Okay, say so equations of uniformly accelerated motion. Equations of uniformly accelerated motion. The equations, the equations of uniformly accelerated motion include the one all right the equations the equations of uniformly as the motion increase by one v is called the u plus a t by 2, s equals to ut plus half t squared by 3, v squared equals to u squared plus 2s. These are like the three major ones. There's one more. There's one more. It's quite a minus, but still exists. But 4 is what there? s equals to what there? u plus v all over 2 times what there? See, it's the fourth one. The fourth one is a minor one. The three major ones are the first one. So these are the three major ones. Uh, I will call this the major ones. Right, sorry, major ones. We good. All right. So, what does this mean? Let's define parameters. Where? Let's define parameters. Where v is equal to? Let's define parameters. Where v is equal to? Final velocity. Where v is equal to final velocity in brackets in meters per second. Where v is final velocity in meters per second. But two, u is equal to initial velocity also in meters per second. Final velocity. Initial velocity A is equal to acceleration of the body. A is equal to acceleration of the body in meters per second squared. A is simply acceleration of the body in meters per second squared. Final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration of the body C equal to time in seconds. Now, mind you, in science, there are two types of T's. The capital T and the small t. Capital T is for what there? Temperature. That's why you observe here, my T's are small t, not capital. It's very intentional. Right? Most of the time, when you say capital T in science, it's about temperature, not time. Alright, T is time in seconds. Next up, 
x equal to distance or displacement. But well, usually it's distance here. Okay? S equal to distance. Distance is really what? You what? In meters. S is distance in meters. Sorry, so that's that one there. Before we solve questions, look at concept, 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 I'm doing this because I know that you've already learned it before. Somehow, somehow. So, we should have an idea of this. So, let me just concepts. Notes. Number one. Notes. Number one. If a body begins from rest, if a body begins from rest, comma, okay, there was always starts. So, if your body begins in bracket, starts, close the bracket from rest. So put start there. If your body begins in bracket, starts, close the bracket from rest, comma, its initial velocity u is equal to zero. Please, very, 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 very important. Please. Body starts from rest. That's one. Number two. If a body comes to rest after undergoing motion. If a body comes to rest after undergoing motion, comma, its final velocity v is equal to zero. Please note these two concepts. Retardation. All right. So let's discuss retardation. Right, let's discuss. Okay, so let me tell you what it is before we start writing. With addition, see acceleration here. Yeah? We are talking about negative acceleration. Now, here's the concept if somebody is running with a particular velocity, so fast the velocity is constant, that person will move at the same pace till he reaches what the end of his journey. Again, I say if somebody is running at a particular speed or velocity. So far, the velocity is constant. The person will maintain the same speed. See, the person reaches what there is destination. But what if someone is running at a particular speed and wants to move faster? What happens there now? There must be what there and acceleration, right? The person that means this gives what add up more pace as what you go ahead. That becomes what now and acceleration. So what about acceleration? We're talking about something that what increases the speed of what a moving body. Now, a body is moving now, the body wants to stop now. What so? The difference between retardation and acceleration is this. Acceleration increases the speed of a body. This one does what there, reduces the speed of a body. So retardation is simply what there, negative acceleration. It's the kind of acceleration that does what there, brings the emotion of a body to rest. For example, a man is driving on the way, right? He's driving past the place there. And suddenly, from nowhere, a child runs past. What does he do? He applies with a bit. You know, you have prrr, right? He stops there. At that point, now, there's, there's what's called over there retardation. And that's like the concept of this man here. Think about his definition. Definition. Retardation. Retardation is simply negative acceleration. Retardation is simply negative acceleration. It is a type of acceleration that brings the motion of a body to rest. It is a type of acceleration that brings the motion of a body to rest. It occurs in cases. It occurs in cases where brakes. It occurs in cases where brakes are applied to moving vehicles. Please, I can't stress enough. You're solving the problem on motion. Now here, um, if a boy applies brake, what is the word? Applies the word with the noun retardation. Retardation. Mathematically, retardation. Mathematically, retardation is equal to negative acceleration. 
that's equal to minus a. That's equal to minus a. So that is. Look at what's called free form. What is called free form? All right, stick that with. Free fall is simply. Now mind you, don't say fall. Don't say fall. What's something is falling? How do you describe fall in physics concept? What do you, what do you call it? Fall. Huh? Huh? How do you call fall? You, you, you can't just say fall in things like that now. Uh, you, you, you need to mind the definition. Mind the definition. But that was a jam class. I won't stress a bit. But no, they do not ask you what is this in there. Right, right. You not type it there. It's just A B C A B C. So don't worry, don't no, no stress yourself. And start of saying, what do you say fall in physics? What do we mean? How do you define? How do you describe fall in physics? You know, you know, you know say fall. How do you define fall? You now say falling from a height. It's not you adding salt to the injury. It's not you adding salt to the injury. What's fall? Let me give you a hint. If something is falling, is it moving at horizontal or vertical? Huh? Okay, so can you tell me what four is now? What's four? Vertical. I think yeah, vertical. Vertical. <laughs> you don't say it down. You don't say it down. Four is simply what there? The vertical motion. You just talk about motion. What's four? The vertical. So, so suppose something is moving vertically. Well, it's not really good. You can see go up on it. Yeah, so four is actually what they. The vertical ones, downward motion. But in free fall, we are looking at two cases, both upward and downward. So that's why I'm saying the vertical motion. So both upward and downward. If it's upward, there's a case to it. If it's downward, case to it. Definition please. Free fall is simply the vertical motion. Free fall is simply the vertical motion of a body under the influence of gravity. Continue. For free fall, for, for free fall, for free fall, the acceleration of the body, for free fall, the acceleration of the body is equal to acceleration to the gravity. The acceleration of the body is equal to acceleration due to gravity. For, next up. So, difference between this one and free fall is just three things that changes. Number one, A changes. So it's not that in cost of their G. So for a free form, a body has no acceleration of this goal. That's the meaning. So when a body is undergoing free form, it's acceleration because of their ascension to gravity it has no acceleration of this goal. Example, a man that falls from space. Um, that's the first cause for free form. Number two. Now look at this place. See different things. For motion, we talk about Look at this now, look at this. I, I, illustrated some, I illustrated something. I said, I'm moving from here to here. Now, what kind of motion is this? This is actually what there, in horizontal motion. You can see here. So I have what there, S, to represent what there, distance. For a free form, what you have there is what there? A vertical motion. This is the first thing there. Let's pick that up. Also, during a free form, the distance, the distance covered by a body is considered to be height pitch. Is considered to be height pitch. Covered by body under free form is considered to be height H. That is, it's not like S because of the now. H. Alright. So, so see this, see this, see this. I do this, this. What you ask me is this: How high? Abi, yeah, you don't say how distance. No. How high did the chalk go? Because of the the height. So look for free form. A is now G. S is now H. Let's put these two here into this equation. What will happen? Look at this. It means V. So for free form. For free form, it means that V is equal to u plus or minus no longer in what there eh? gt that's the first one there eh? number two s because of that h is equal to what there eh? ut 
plus or minus half gt squared. No longer a t squared, but g. So a becomes g. That's what you're saying. Number three, I have a word there. v squared is equal to what there? u squared plus or minus what there? 2 a h. Yeah. So these are like the equations of free form. So s becomes h. Let's say a. 2 g h. Alright, so A becomes G, S becomes H. So this is how free form motion. So if I'm given a, 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 a problem of motion, that one is a free form. That one is a free form, tell you. Before that, what's that, what's, what's the difference between this and this? For this is just plus. For here, I'm seeing plus and minus. When do I use minus? When do I use plus? Take that place. One line space paragraph. One line space paragraph. Take that place. Physics step. When a body is moving vertically downwards, let me use physics step. When a body is moving vertically downwards, comma, positive plus is u. When a body is moving vertically downwards, plus is used. So when do we use plus and when do we use minus? Let's clean it down. When the body is falling down or is moving vertically downwards, positive is used in brackets because it is motion towards gravity. That's it. So why is it plus? Because it's water. In brackets, plus is used in brackets because it is motion towards gravity. Close the bracket. If a body is going, but if a body is moving vertically upwards. If a body is moving vertically upwards, comma, minus is u. Why? Because the body is going against gravity. Alright, let's try some example problems. Let's take this. So, let me recall some facts for motion. This I have um, the one that V is equal to U plus AT. But two, V squared equal to U squared plus 2AS. Number three, S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. Number four, S is equal to u plus v over 2 t. For free fall, I have this number 1. That's what? v is equal to u plus or minus g t. Number 2, v squared equal to 2 u squared plus or minus 2 g h. Number 3, that h equal to u t plus or minus um, half g t squared. So these are the three. All right. We'll take some questions. Work together, please. 2020, um, jump to 20, question one. Yeah. Question one. A train, train, T-R-V-I-N. A train with an initial velocity a train with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second is subjected to is subjected to a uniform deceleration is subjected to a uniform deceleration of 2 meters per second square Two meters per second squared. Full stop. The time taken to bring the train. The time taken to bring the train to a complete halt. Halt this way. The complete halt is a ten seconds. Um, B twenty seconds. C 
40 seconds D 5 seconds Alright, let's solve this math So check options So how do we solve that? Question, is it a question on um, uniform acceleration or free form? Huh? The train that is moving, is it moving this way? Does it move this way? No. Uh, except it's, it's the only, what do you call it? Roller coaster, right? Yeah, it's the roller coaster. But this one is this way. a train, right? So it's this way. Right. How, do you, how, how do you identify problems of free form? You hear a ball is thrown vertically upward or something falls downward. That's free form. Right. So how do you get this one here? Listen. Here's a jump approach. Here's a wide approach. For wide approach, first thing you do is this. List out given parameters. This should be your approach, whether it's jam or wide, right? Then, whatever. So, the person I'm giving there, check. What's the person I'm giving there? That's you, Abby. How many there? 20 meters per second. What else am I giving there? What acceleration? What's the acceleration? Yes, please. Deceleration and retardation, same thing. Because you can add it there. Deceleration means retardation, same thing. So I'm giving acceleration there. How many there? So, so in this case, because of that, minus 2 meters per second squared. You can see why is acceleration over there? Retardation. Alright. What else am I giving? What else am I giving? Equation there. Is that all? No, that's not all. I'm giving time ticket. How many? Is that all I'm giving? Huh? No. Check. What else can you find? That's not all. Check. What else can you find? Go back to notes. I gave you some of the notes. I said when a body starts from red, what does it mean? It means initial what? Zero. When a body comes to rest, what does it mean? So they say the body comes to a halt. To a halt, what does it mean there? Comes to rest. So what happens there now? V equal to what there? Zero. What I say, you have to note those things there. That's why I give you this thing. Note there. A body is com coming to what there? A complete halt. That means it's coming to what there? To rest. Hence, V becomes zero. We said this before now. That when a body comes to rest after motion, the final decision is what there? Zero. So why you should list that parameter is that it gives you an idea of which equation to use. Yeah, I'm saying about seven equations in total. Four, three. So which one, which of these equations that will suit this one? Is it one, two, three, four, perhaps five, six, seven? Which of them? What does the one? From here now, recall that we said V is equal to U plus AT. Put in values. What's V? V is zero. So I have that zero is equal to U. What's U there? 20 plus A. What's A there? Minus 2. T find the time. So T is on note. So I have this here. Solve this one together now. 0 is equal to 20 plus minus minus 2t. Move this all. Try what you want to move. Move plus 2 minus 2. Over the cost of there. Plus 2. It's equal to what there? 20. Alright. So minus 2t comes to the cost of there. Plus 2t. How do you get t? Divide by 2. Divide by 2. This cancels this. So this is what the word there. 10 seconds. Which option? Option A. Yes, sir. 10 seconds. So it's easy, but do you know how it works? Question 2. Calculate the total distance covered by a train before coming to rest. If its initial speed, if its initial speed is 30 meters per second, if its initial speed is 30 meters per second with a constant retardation with a constant retardation of, of 0 0.1 meters per second squared with a constant retardation of um, 0 0.1 meters per second squared so here are your options please it says 550.0 meters. This is 
zero meters. C says four twenty point zero meters. D says three hundred point zero meters. All right, solution. So here are your four options. Um, let's get the solution. First things first, list out what I'm given. So let's see our given parameters. What am I giving? Initial speed. That's the study. Yes. Yeah. So I'm giving you as how many there? 30 meters per second. What else? Retardation. That's A. How many there? No, 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 no. What's A? Minus. Minus. Retardation. Minus what there? What does it get there? Mm. Nothing. Calculate what? Mm. Please check. Is there any time you're going to give there? Mm. What else can I pick out from this question? What do you get? Mm. V now. You say calculate total distance covered by a train before coming to rest. That is very well. No, so when you want to come to rest, what's there? V is what? Zero. So before coming to rest, so it comes to rest. That means what then? V is equal to zero. So V is equal to zero. All right. So which equation do I use? Huh? Which one? Oh, hold on. I'm looking for what exactly? What, what, what am I looking for? V times x. So check which equation will be all of these. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Which of them? Huh? Third. Thought. If you say thought, there's a T here. Any time here? Yeah. No. So which one is there? Second. Yeah. 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 Alright. So recall. Recall that V squared is equal to what there? U squared plus what? 2AX. V is 0. 0 squared is equal to U. Use what there? 30. 30 squared plus 2 into A. What's A there? Minus 0 0.1 times what there? X. So I have this. Expansion, what do you get here now? 0 is equal to what's 30 squared? 900 plus, plus 2 times 0 what there? Minus 0 0.2 X. So 2 times 0 0.2 gives you what there? Minus 0 0.2. Right? So you can punch that if you want to. Right? Punch this. You have this. Next up, move this one over here. Move this one over here. Minus, sorry, this is minus because of that. Plus, so 0.2x is equal to what there? 900. Divide by 0.2, divide by 0.2. This cancels this. S is equal to 900 over 0.2. What's the value? Huh? What does that want there? 500. Okay. So I actually think that's a vision in there. This one, right? So it's more from this jam is in there. You only have this issue. So that's actually B. What's the unit here? Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is the option, right? actually wrong. And that's what about the jam if you if you if you're conversant with jam uh, past questions. Some of those things are actually wrong like that. So that's your answers. Do that. That reminds me too. When I give you some problem, the one you saw, right? So the answer, that's, that's about jam. Back in those days, when I was still in secondary school there, we used to do jam. My sister, we used to do jam by Waiek. We used to do Waiek and jam, like, more like competition every night. And before you go to bed, we bring that one, one full year. We answer about, that's, that's about 50 questions. We answer 50. When they will swap, they will mark it from the answer and see who, is, who scored the most, the highest, almost every night. So tonight is physics, next day is chemistry, next day is further math, next day is math. We do that almost every night. That's one that helped us actually. Right. But at the point, we stop using jam. We're not using jam again. We're just working on just why it looks Why? Because for jam, it's the past question. So the options they are wrong. Right. Just like what you're seeing here. Actually, 4,500, 4, not 450. All right. We'll do one more. Okay, we'd, like, we'd like two more. On, let's just keep solving, right? Till it's um, oh, it's almost time. 
So I'll leave, I'll, I'll do the ones that are not too, like, I'll leave this type here. Because they're actually much more, right? Technical. Alright, so I'll leave some for you. I'll give you three as an assignment there. Look at this one, please. Take that one. Sample problem three. A boy travels eight kilometers 